All right, hey guys, this is a kind of a review video for Auxito LED automotive lights. I was contacted by them uh, about a week ago to review some of their lights. They said they'd send some out. They also gave me an affiliate link and they gave me a referral link, which is actually my YouTube channel, Z3CHYD, for 15% off. So if you click their affiliate link and then use that link, you get 15% off any of their products. Now the bulbs that they sent me are for my low beam, which I believe is H7 bulbs. So they sent them in this nice box. I mean, it kind of reminds me of an iPhone box. It's nice and sturdy. It comes with, you know, the little manual thing that just gives you specs and stuff. Put back up so you can actually see me. Let's see. So the bulbs themselves, get one on mount if I can. They're in foam so that way they don't get damaged when they're shipped. Now the bulbs themselves, they're actually pretty good looking. They got a little heat sink at the end. It's not ones that have that huge fan on the back. So that's kind of an advantage uh, using these for your LED lights because in my Subaru, 2002, <clears throat> I can't talk, 2002, Jesus, 2007 Subaru Impreza wagon. The low beam bulbs, they sit in a housing that has a cap over it. You know, like a dust shield, water shield, all that kind of stuff. So these are low profile enough that they'll actually sit in there, you know, and not get water in your housing and look like you need to change your blinker fluid. Now on this side, since it's tighter, I've already taken that one out, just so you can kind of compare. Cause I'll be honest, I cheaped out and got lights, low beam bulbs from Amazon and they work okay. The beam pattern in these aren't that great. Uh, I put them in and actually the one on the passenger side is not working 100%. One of the LEDs and one of the sides keeps flickering on and off. But if you compare the Amazon one to the Oxido ones, there's not really a heat sink on these. So I imagine these are probably getting hot and starting to fail. Now, I'm gonna be putting these in. And actually, funny enough, I've used Oxido before in several of my cars and I've never had an issue with them flickering or, you know, just plain failing, which is a nice, you know, a nice feature. <laughs> because obviously if you cheap out on any of your stuff, lighting, parts, head gaskets, and that kind of stuff, eventually they're probably gonna fail because you didn't use name brand. I mean, I know there's more fancy brands out there, but this one, they actually have a website, they sell on Amazon, they have an account on Amazon, probably eBay. Um, I've never had an issue with these, and they cost a little bit more than like if you cheaped out and got some Amazon ones, which, I mean, obviously you get what you get. So I'm gonna be putting these in, and then uh, I'll probably try to make another clip when it's darker out, just to show you the beam pattern. <clears throat> now I can tell you the beam pattern of these, as long as you put them correctly, in, inside of your housing. It even says on their little paper they give you, Let's see if I can find the page, it's in several languages. Da, 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 da. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, but in the page it says to install in the nine and three o'clock position. Oh, there it is right there. The nine and three o'clock position. Because if you put them vertical, that will actually make your beam pattern a lot more scattered. If you put them in this way, like a minus projector housing, so that will create an even beam pattern. The cutoff line will actually be a lot more crisp. I've definitely noticed that. These Amazon ones, they kind of have a cutoff line, but it's a little more faded. And when those are in, not I haven't been high beam with them, but just the light pattern isn't that great. Obviously, when you look at the beam pattern, the driver's side is gonna be just a hair lower than the passenger side. I mean, and they do that from factory because, you know, they're designed to not blind the oncoming driver. Now, if you have LEDs in, obviously that's gonna be a lot more bright because it's more of a white color. So I'm gonna put these in and then I'll, I'll well, I'll show you how semi-easy they are to put in on a Subaru. Obviously the batteries on the driver's side I can put my hand in there. I've undone the filler uh, neck for my washer fluid and undone the tie-down for my battery. Just slid it forward a little bit. 
Now, my hands, I don't have huge hands, obviously. I got trunk hands. <laughs> but it's doable to slide these in. There's a little locking clip. And uh, when you put them in, if they, when you plug them in and try them, if they don't turn on, it's not that they're defective. They're single polarity. So all you have to do is take the plug and turn 180 degrees and put it in. And they should work. I learned that as well because the Amazon ones I got didn't come with any kind of not brochure, uh, manual, so I put them in, thought they were bad, and I was like, oh, maybe they're single polarity, and I did that. So, I'm gonna throw these in, and let you know, you know what I think. I already know they're good, but just kind of confirmation on this video, because I'm making a review, because they sent me this product, and gave me the affiliate link and discount code, so I'm trying to do right by them sending me a good product. Normally these are, well, on the link, I think it said they're like $68. They're a very good, light so I'm gonna throw these in all right so now I can show you in the headlight housing obviously of my Subaru that I've taken off the dust cap which you know it just turns and then it pops out but when you have that out so there's your light obviously you know you undo the plug which is not hard to do you know if you know how to <laughs> tie your shoes you know how to plug in a plug I would hope so kind of get that out of the way unplugged and then obviously there's a little clip there uh, it's hard to actually show this without you know having my fat hand in the way let me see they're a little tight in there you just kind of have to push down and then pop them out there we go and then this little arm swings out like that you can grab your bulb that's the plug. I'm trying to do this blind so that way you can actually see. So that just slides out. Now, like I said, this is the Amazon one. So let me grab the Oxido one. Da, 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 da. The Oxido one, you know, it has tabs there. So, you know, it could go in several orientations depending on what kind of headlight housing you have. So in mine, it says that I should put it at the nine and three o'clock position. So they'll be going in like this. Like I said, if you have them like that and the LED is facing up and down, it actually doesn't really utilize the projector housing. So nine to three o'clock for this, when you plug it in, obviously I said before, if it doesn't work, uh, flip the pl plug around, try it again. It won't fry them if they're plugged in the wrong way, it just won't work. So let me throw these in. All right, so now I have the bulbs in. Like I said, there's that little clip that holds them in place. And then the plug for mine, anyway, the positive plugs in, you know, towards the bottom, negative towards the top. The same on both sides. I've already kind of tested them. This one is a lot tighter to get to. If I can actually get the camera down right there. So let me turn it on and I will just kind of show you. Well, I don't even have to make a separate clip for that. I can just jump in my car because Subarus, you can leave the switch on and it won't stay on without the key, you know, on the on position. So I will turn that on, turn the switch on. Let's show you really quick. Like I said, the projector housing, it looks a lot better. The other ones, like I said, that I had were kind of crappy. So that's the low beam. Unfortunately, on these aftermarkets that I have, Set the door so it doesn't hit that beeping. Super seatbelts. Now on these lights, I got them off uh, marketplace for 100 bucks, but I didn't realize these don't have high beam bulbs. They just have the low beam, and there's some stupid shutter in there that when you do high beams, this little shutter opens, so you get like this much more beam pattern. It's kind of shitty, but they do have the cool, you know, half circle. That's the turning signal. There's actually the same exact ones as these headlights that have the high beam in it. They also have the little side marker there, but eventually I want to try to find the ones that have the high beam because I miss having high beams. But I can, uh, with my low beam on, I can actually turn on my fog lights, which I've put LED pods in, and that's kind of like high beam for me. So, yeah, these are in. I'm going to take the dust cap and put those in. Like I said, these being lower profile like that they fit in with the dust cap i had ones in before that had that you know massive fan in them and you could well you could put the dust cap kind of on but 
it was like really pushing on the fan and obviously the, the fan has a, a output that the heat's supposed to go out <laughs> so this hard against it they got hot and they did not last long at all on my car so let me get that in there until it goes in its groove i just have to keep turning until it goes in oh there she popped in turn until it gets tight like that and let me see if i can get the other one yes i need a new battery tie down this one's kind of crappy i'll try to do this blind you know just for the video uh, do I have it in all the way? Oh, there we go. No? Give me a second. This one, like I said, this one's a lot tighter to get to. Eventually I'll get it. Oh my goodness. This is hard to do. You know what? I'll do this one off camera. I'll just leave it in there. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, these bulbs are very good quality. I've used them on several of my cars. My last Subaru, I had these in high and low beam. And I think, yeah, I think fog lights too. And they are nice and bright. Low beams, they have that nice beam pattern that you're not blinding other drivers and you shouldn't get high beam like you would if you got cheap Amazon ones like knockoffs or eBay ones. I cheaped out and I shouldn't have. And high beam, uh, it's like daylight, which is awesome. And you will get high beamed if you have those on. So, yeah, B pattern's good. I will put in the description the affiliate link that if you click that, not that I really care that much, uh, I get like 5% commission or something. I'll have the other, well, I'll just type in the code. It's Z3CHYD, that's my channel name. That is the code that will get you 15% off of any product they have. They have low beams, high beams, fog lights, I think like interior lights, tail lights, now, don't quote me on this. I'm not sure is if, if you switch everything to LED, if you need a resistor or not. I'm pretty sure these have one already built into them. That way they work out of the box. I know certain cars like Volkswagens, uh, they're a little more picky about what you put in. So, yeah. Click that link, use the coupon code, and get 15% off any LED that you want. All right. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. I'm not going to say like, comment, subscribe like other people because I'm not a huge channel. I'm just... I'm just having fun. So, yeah, you have a good day, and hopefully if you get LEDs, they work out good for you.